Welcome to the other and the new one energy update. And yes, it's getting actually more interesting. What's happening in the cosmos is really bringing us many, many invitations. So the new moon in Cancer is coming along on the 5th. We're stepping into the series, Sirius portal. And of course, there's quite an interesting interaction between Mars and Venus that I really want to alert you to. And the invitation is really that we are able to break the old cycle that was over 5,000 years of the Kali Yurga and really step back into the divine feminine and divine masculine together. So we are all, all challenged. It's a time to go within. It's a time to remember in many, many ways. Uranus wants to break it all. Venus is giving us the aspect of truly coming within and taking that opportunity to express. So it's indeed a very interesting time, a time of looking at the things that have happened inside. Some of us call it the inner work. I call it the inner journey, the heart. There's many different words and the words is not what it's really all about. It is about going within and learning who we truly are. This whole evolutionary journey that we are on, this ascension, going into a whole new era. And it's not only Aquarius, there's a Kali Yurga. There's so many other things, the, the photon belt. We, we're living in a time that's crazy in many ways. And right now, this last week of June and into July is really allowing us to reconnect, if you want to call it that way. Reconnecting to go within so that we can all make this evolutionary leap. And it takes all of us uniquely to do this collectively. It's very interesting that at this time we would remember who we truly are. We would remember the wisdom that has been given to us, ancient. And not only remembering, but also sharing it. So don't be surprised if more people are speaking up in a different way. There's a really, really big shift happening. And this week is the beginning, the initiation into it. And so I'm inviting you, it's an invitation to really look within, who am I? Who am I really associated to? What is my truth? This is not a skill that you can learn. This is a journey within. And all the stars and all the amazing constellations are supporting us on that journey. So I really recommend to you to connect, allow, the experience to come to you. I will give you a little sound bridge with my light language in a moment, which is part of that. Allow that sound to come to you and unlock whatever is not accessible to you at the moment. So enjoy these shifts. We can't really stop them and we have not come to stop the shifts, we have come to be those shifts. We have come to reweave a new earth. We have come to recreate harmony. And the harmony is partially the divine feminine and masculine. So looking at the characteristics of the masculine as we know it, that doesn't serve us any longer the power over the authority. It has to be that way. You have to do that. That focus on the external, that was obviously with the Ary since the Aryan age. So it's not just the last 2000 years, it's much, much longer than that, related to the Kali Yurga, by the way. And so it is reassessing that. And Mars is also evolving. It's not about Mars st sticking to the old stuff. We're all evolving. and. It's also important that our Mars and Aries are in a way a little team. So look at it. 
find another way and allow the experience to come to you. Allow the experience to remember that harmony and the love. Now, we have learned love very conditional. And then we were told love is unconditional. And truly, love is just love. I remember more than 20 years ago at the beginning of my, my journey to speak and to be part of communities, mystic and spiritual, I always said it's not unconditional love, it's pure love, it's the frequency of love. It's not only the opposite of fear, that we cannot just reprogram. It is about truly being love. It's about truly embodying love and that is in the heart. And that is when we allow to shift from the Homo sapien, who was in an operating system of fear and survival and lack and power over. You cannot override it, but you can have a new operating system that is in the heart and that is our Homo luminous. So yes, the energies are interesting. Listen to yourself. Enjoy the, the beautiful influence, of course, of new moon in Cancer. Enjoy this interaction and invitation into the divine feminine and masculine, regardless of your gender. It's very important. And the other thing, allow yourself to come back into harmony and into love. What does it really mean to you? And harmony and love are not actions. They are not the way you feel. They are energies. And in a new earth, they are part of the harmonic states of being. So today I want to share with you, or I'm guided, to share with you a sound bridge and light language that comes from the High Council of Lyra. So Lyra is very much involved in all of this as well. And also from the Council of Heartlights that I've been part of for a very long time. And it is a bridge that gives us access to the harmony, to the love that divine feminine and masculine bring to us and to the wisdom and the truth that we have been separated from. So just take a moment to take that all in, what is coming to you. The sound and the language is an experience to invoke your truth, your access to that wisdom, to that harmony, to that love that the divine feminine and masculine is bringing to us by stepping into a whole new era from all different directions. So close your eyes and just get ready to receive that bridge. As you're doing that, just connect with the stars that are present, the Cancerian figurations, Lyra who's bringing us the message, the Council of Heartlights, and Venus and Mars. Tohi ama tohi ama hu. Tohi a tohi a tohi a maraya. Tohiya me anaru anaya, ko anaramina, ko honaya. Olare 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 ma, kolare 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 narira, chora me nayo. 
feminine and masculine into these new frequencies of love and harmony reweaving reimagineering this new earth riding these waves of ascension and all the ending cycles into the new accessing your wisdom as your wisdom and knowing is a unique key to the new collective consciousness and beingness. Yeah, come back and see how that feels. And of course, let me know in the comments where this energy for this week is taking you. How much are you aligned, connected to the rhythms and to the music, to the love and to the harmony that is unfolding from our unique wisdom and knowing inside of us into the new divine feminine and masculine. See you there and can't wait for more. <laughs>